In the previous video, we learnt how cells communicate with one another using signal molecules known as ligands. Because the ligands are unable to cross the cell membrane, they bind to the receptor of the target cell. These cell surface receptor proteins act as signal transducers. They convert an extracellular ligand receptor binding event into intracellular signals that alter the behavior of the target cell. Hence, the cell signaling pathway is also known as signal transduction pathway. Let's look at the first event of ligand receptor binding. There are three classes of cell surface receptors. Ion channel linked receptors are important for synaptic signaling. They are opened when a ligand binds to the receptor. This allows the entry of ions into the cell, thereby changing the electrical potential of the cell membrane. Enzyme-linked receptors can function directly as enzymes. They dimerize when bound to a ligand, leading to activation of their intracellular catalytic sites. Alternatively, the receptors are activated after ligand binding and they activate other enzymes. G-protein coupled receptors are associated with a trimeric protein known as G-protein. When a ligand binds to the receptor, the alpha subunit of G-protein exchanges guanosine diphosphate GDP for guanosine triphosphate G TP and dissociates. The activated G protein subunit then activates other target proteins. After the ligand receptor complex is formed, small intracellular signaling molecules called second messengers are produced in large numbers. Examples include cyclic AMP, calcium ions, and diacylglycerol. Large amounts of second messengers can activate large numbers of downstream intracellular signaling proteins, which relay the signal to the next protein in the pathway, and so on. This causes the signal to be amplified. The signal is often relayed by phosphorylation of proteins, which is the addition of a phosphate group to the target protein by an enzyme known as kinase. The activation of the target protein can also be reversed via dephosphorylation by the enzyme phosphatase. Finally, the signal is transmitted to effector proteins which help to mediate the cellular responses. Activation of enzymes would cause changes in metabolism. Activation of cytoskeleton proteins would lead to changes in cell shape and motility. And activation of gene regulatory proteins would alter gene expression. Complex cell behaviors such as cell survival generally require integration of multiple signals. Signals can be integrated in different ways. One receptor might activate multiple pathways or different receptors can activate the same pathway or different receptors activate different pathways which cross talk with the other. Hence, the biological response of a cell greatly depends on the combination of extracellular signals. In light of their complexity, Signal transduction pathways may occasionally fail, leading to disease states. The intestinal bacterium, Vibrio cholera, secretes chorella toxin, which modifies G protein and traps it in an active conformation. The active G protein results in the continuous production of cyclic AMP and activation of protein kinase A which causes a chloride channel to open. Excessive loss of sodium chloride and water results in the symptoms of diarrhea as seen in the disease.